Yeah, if you need to stop, because that, that's that's fine. No, I'm just nope. sleepy tonight. Well, still, if you need to to get to, to get off early because you're too tired, that's cool. Do yeah. not do not suffer in our account. If I go to bed too early, it'll screw up my sleep schedule. I'm bit... I'll be waking up at three in the morning. Ouch. All right. So when we last left off, uh, you guys had arrived at the current location of the carnival. Uh, you t walked, wandered around the uh, Litwick Market that was being set up, uh, met some totem sellers, and somehow managed to steal two totems <laughs> without being caught <laughs> from Fay Beings. So good luck with that. <laughs> uh. Uh, Charlie traded a word for some kind of arcane battery, and now can no longer say it or even recognize it being spoken. Well, well she can sort of recognize it being spoken. She just can't say it, use it, write it down, any of that. Uh. Have to find cinnamons for the <laughs> I can't even pronounce that word <laughs> for the word spoken. Cinnamon. Yeah. Uh. She managed. To, she also shared the uh, uh, the mist totem she had managed to snag uh, with the captain. As it turned out, it led to the location of Lamordia. Meanwhile, uh, Kyver was wanted to get something for murder. And did not go as planned. It did not go as planned. He tried to st stalk the uh, the alleyways, but considering it was a bunch of slums. Uh, the alleyways still had a lot of people in them, <laughs> making them indistinguishable from regular roads, because overcrowding is a common thing with slums. Um, so as you were trying to sneak into a tent, thinking that there was like a, uh, I want to say a tiefling inside with wings, is what you thought? Uh, yes. Instead, you ended up killing, a, getting caught and killing a, uh, a, a monkey that belonged to the organ grinder. Who also caught you, and and for, for thankfully for them, uh, for for you actually, uh, they have n they they can't speak, so all they could really do is gesture in your direction. Uh, however, the guard on that tent is pretty sure it was you, though that they don't have any hard proof, because they 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 saw you look they, they thought you looked suspicious trying to get into the tent earlier. Uh. This has also angered the head of the carnival, who, if she ever finds you, well, that's going to be interesting. Uh, you did it's get a plus one dagger. <laughs> well, the rest of the party. They can't up. time. They can't tie a face to a name or to the ship. So unless they see me again, nah, I'll be fine. They are a traveling carnival, so it's entirely Hopefully. possible. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh. Eventually, uh, the rest of the party ended up enjoying many of the acts, and eventually ended up back on the ship. And I believe that is where we left off. Yeah, makes sense. What would you guys like to do? I believe there was some brief discussion about, uh, committing piracy <laughs> yes it was yeah either going to see if the job at the weird place with the corpses was still there or uh if we were going to do actual piracy i forgot to remember, write down how many magic bean bullets i have uh, i believe there were I don't know how many beans are in the bag. I think there were eight, I want to say. There's a bag of beans uh, in, my, in, in my thing, but I don't think I wrote how many bullets I managed to make. I think there were eight beans in the bag. I'm not 100% sure. That sounds right, so... Uh, 
Yeah, so we have your missed talisman that we actually identified where it went. And yeah, then mine that... is the shield design embossed with a uh, wyvern and a lotus emblem that we're not quite sure yet. All right. Where to next, Captain? Sorry, I hit the back button by accident. Well, those uh, beans are, are heavy. It's They're a quarter pound per bean. Huh. They've got to be beans. pretty, pretty, pretty... They might not fit in bullets. <laughs> or they're just really heavy. They're like lead beans. <laughs> Could make it easier to fire, then. Be about the same weight as a normal bullet. We have uh, many options of where to go next. I suppose we can always head back to the back to the port of the between. Unless you, <clears throat> unless of course we see anything interesting along the way. Uh, Captain, what do you mean by interesting? Oh, uh, a ship that doesn't belong to the fleet, of course. The fleet. Yes, doesn't belong or, to the port. Where's their fleet? Ah, oh, okay. Ah. It's a fleet and a loose association. We we don't steal from each other, after all. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. So you're suggesting we rob people if we come across them? Well, occasionally people do wander into the mists on, on a ship, after all, and they're likely to either wander forever or eventually make their way to the port, and, well... Invite, <clears throat> leaving them of some of their cargo first, and then giving them directions to the port. Well, helping them get to the port is quite advantageous. They might not like it necessarily, but it's better than them necessarily dying in the mists. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. And and look at it this way: if if we didn't do that, then we might actually have to go into some of the domains. To survive, and we don't want to do that. And just imagine yes. if we were not so generous, you and your, uh, <clears throat> the two of you, looking at uh, Kyver as well, uh, would have drowned out there most likely. But we happen yeah. to find you and rescue you. No, no, I'm aware of the situation, and I do appreciate you rescuing me. It's just a change of pace, yeah. Yeah. But you'll get used to it. Hmm. Shall I go scout out if there are any uh, nearby ships, Captain? Well, uh, point of order. I think aren't you guys still at the at the port with the carnival, or did we take? I off thought we were, but we were taken off because we had sailed We away. had tr trouble. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not quite that simple. We had just barely entered entered into the normal mists. And the scouts will set, will let us know when there sh any ships might be sighted. Fair enough. I do have a uh, longer range advantage. Uh, he flexes his wings. <laughs> Not so much long range if you have to use your wings to get there. We still have to get up close to them. For scouting purposes, I can go out the distance from the ship and then see further from there. Whereas the uh, other so, scouts might be not so good. tied to a ship. Not so good in mists. You're not used to this yet, are you? You can't go the ship. You might get swallowed up. <clears throat> if you get too far away from the ship in a scouting mission such as that, well, you might not find your way back to the ship because well there's no telling where you will be once the mist once you're inside the mists 
They have a habit of occasionally dragging people to other places just by stepping into them. Yeah, no basically the though. ship keeps us from... Uh, something about the engines on the ship keep us from having to worry about that too much. Correct. I kind of lean over to uh, uh, Devotion. That is why he is the captain. Why? Because he thought of that? Of course. Our captain is very wise. Well, if there is uh, nothing to actively do, then I shall uh, practice my forms a little bit. He's going to kind of like make his way off to a, a empty part of the ship and kind of go through some monk fighting motions. Yeah. There's always stuff to do. There's swabbing the decks, fixing the lines, and she just like starts railing off like a thousand things that you have to do to keep a ship running. Yes, so don't be selfish and do your own thing. You have you have duties. <sighs> and he tosses a mop bucket and a mop at you. <laughs> <laughs> he he's gonna kind of sigh and and give Charlie a look before heading off to swap the deck. <laughs> well, actually, I kind of move up to you and I whisper, "That's why you keep your head low and don't say anything until the captain's not looking." Well, that is very good advice for next time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if you got time to lean, you got time to clean, right? Yeah. The captain. Yeah, I guess if we're just sailing right now, I would be doing whatever my duties are. Well, a lot of that has to do with keeping, making sure the engine is yeah. running well. Yeah. As you be being the uh, resident engineer here. What uh what's the skill check roll for swabbing the deck? <laughs> this is dexterity check. Mediocre. <laughs> Uh, yes, and Layla, you can roll stealth. <laughs> yeah, roll, roll for a work of, of, of evasion. Yeah, but, but, <laughs> exactly. None of, none of you know where where uh, Layla went during <laughs> during work assignments. Either she's already got something and is working somewhere, or she managed to get away. <laughs> roll performance for bullshitting your work. <laughs> Ooh. Devotion is also attempting to sneak, but she goes creak, creak, creak on the planks. It is easy to, to, to notice. I'm going to grab another mop lying next to me and toss it to her as well. <laughs> okay. Let's see, that's probably what a dexterity check to catch the mob first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I definitely catch it. Yep. Oh, wrong. I don't, I don't mean to be whispering. You catch it and you start working. Uh, let's see, see how good I am here. So you're 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 basically mopping clean circles around Kyver at this point. <laughs> yes. Showing him up at every opportunity. Yep. <sighs> I'm gonna give you a look and like fly into the air and start mopping the mast and just giving you this look of hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. The cat. 
then is peering over his various instruments. All is quiet on the deck, with just the showmanship of Kyver and the good mopping of, of devotion. After your mopping duties are done, what would any of you like to do? Probably, uh, depends on the time of day, but I'd probably go to my room, or to the room to sleep. Alright. That's where you disappeared, too. Oh, yeah, I was just helping uh, with the kitchen. And I, I just finished up, so I'm taking a rest now. Was that actually... What are the rest of you doing? Uh, between screwing around with the engine and trying to figure out how to use that battery? No, not much else. Uh, trying to figure out what the heck I can do with brewer's supplies. Because I'm proficient in them, and I have them. I, the description doesn't tell me what I can do with them, though. Uh... I, I, with the brewer supplies, you have all of the equipment that you need to brew, plus you have low-level ingredients, um, enough to make a single batch of something interesting, uh, like beer, uh, I believe that's the primary thing that would be used for. Can I make rum? Seems fitting. Hmm. Let's see, that, I guess that qualifies as brewing, as I believe you do have to simmer some, simmer stuff. So, yeah, I would assume so. Wait. So, you wish to devote the a portion of the, the cabin that you're sharing to, uh, to put in your brewer supplies? Sure. I'll kind of... Like the like you do in college, you just kind of discreetly make alcohol under your bed. <laughs> oh, God. That's a <laughs> bin. Hope... <laughs> and hope, hope the campus police don't show up. <laughs> hope that you don't do it wrong and make yourself go blind. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so you never drink the first or last out of a batch of moonshine. What kind of check is that? <laughs> to make rum? <wrong? laughs> Let's see. Using the brewer's supplies, I think in this case, we're going to go with intelligence to see if you know how to do it <laughs> safely. Ah, oh, fuck. So it's intelligence plus proficiency. Mm -hmm. uh, so a plus two, then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're you're uh, basically throwing a bunch of of um. So it's a it ends up uh, as a seven at that point. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're you're basically throwing a bunch of uh, discarded uh, beet pe peels and some sugar into a into a fermentation vat and hoping for the best. And looking very proud of myself. <laughs> I'm just kind of just <laughs> over here in the corner. <laughs> Kevin, what are you making? Uh, rum! <laughs> are you? Um, I hope I... so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm sure you can find alcohol somewhere. It will be fine. <laughs> okay. I have supplies. I make my own. <laughs> I mean, you're the expert, so... Yes, as he's like <laughs> looking at you cross-eyed at this point. <laughs> like one of the gunner's mates from uh, Spaceballs. <laughs> uh, it's been ages since I've seen that movie. Ah, oh, it's so good. <laughs> I don't mean to sound offensive when I ask you this, but how old are you again? Uh, in he's real like life? 12. Yeah, in real life. Uh, 20. 
Yeah, so I think the last time I saw it was maybe 25 <gasps> years ago. Jeez. <laughs> before you were born. Nice. Before, I, I think the last time I saw it was before I met Turtle Butter. So. I mean, it came out in 1987, yep. so. Yeah. Came out when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Such a good movie, though. Mm hmm. I have to watch that again. It's been so long. It's terrible. It does not hold up. <laughs> I know it's terrible. It's it's horrible, but it's meant to be saf uh, satire. So terrible. So Charlie is still playing with her arcane battery after all this. Yeah, she's not paying attention. She is en en enraptured in her work. Trying to figure out how to cram it inside of Walter. <laughs> 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 well, you can roll me a tinker Poor check. Oh, let's see. Tinker's tools with an int check. So, I'm after, really not sure what it'll do for him, but... So after some time of study and experimentation, uh, while the ship is traveling along, while one of your your, your new companions is trying to make alcohol, uh, you have spent a lot of time and devotion and finally figured out how to basically do more than just strap this weird battery thing to your Homoculus's back. But find a way to incorporate it into his back and rebuild a bit of the chassis around it, thus boosting his his abilities, uh, boosting his health by what's his health now? Oh, I don't even know. Do I have a sheet out? Yeah. Uh, what's well, your health? Well, it's Walter? listing as fifty eight for some reason. Is that right? Uh, his hit points is four. I'm four. sorry. Ah. Yeah, I don't know where you're getting 58. I it's think it's because there. 49 from your H P pool got added onto it. Oh, weird. Okay, no, he's four. <laughs> right. So, um, you could either roll me a 1d12 and hope for the best, or you can simply double his HP. Oh, uh, we'll we'll take we'll we'll do the 1d12 and get a one. <laughs> Oh, no, we got a two. So, right, we'll take I'm not it. entirely sure what it's doing, but it seems to have improved Walter a little bit. He needs lasers. Does he have an attack currently? He does. Uh... Is it a simple melee attack? It's just a force. It's a force damage. It's a. Ra it's actually a ranged weapon. Okay. So he, he does have like a little like missile that he can shoot. Yeah. So technically he ha he does have that. <laughs> nice. You know what? Since that's his, his, his attack as well, I think uh, we can add a, an extra plus one to that. For the damage. Yeah. One d four plus two, plus three instead of plus two. Uh, it's a plus three on here already. Uh, because he's leveled up. That that's I don't know why it says that, but his he's he's got a plus three uh to his proficiency. Oh then uh, he, he has the same proficiency bonus I have. Okay. Then it's like, you know, there should be like, you know, the, see that extra slot? Like there's a you know, one D four plus three plus zero. Uh whatever's in that zero slot, that's a, now a one. Uh I don't have a plus zero slot for him. Uh, I, I can I can update a sheet if you need. Yeah, if you want to do it, go for it. Cause I I don't see what you're seeing there. I I see it when I hover over uh, over him. Hmm. Let's see if that. Yeah, you want me to roll it? Or you can roll it. 
still editing. Give me a sec. All right. Let's see. Yep, that worked. Just yeah. in case you need to up it based on proficiency, you know that the uh, the extra plus one there is from the the battery upgrade. Okay. I'm looking to see if any of his other stuff... Because his, his proficiency bonus goes up with mine. I don't think his uh, hit points go up with mine, but... I'll keep keep tinkering with him and keep attaching shit to him, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, he already shoot some sort of, la of, of, of force missile or laser or something like that. Yeah. He's got eye lasers. We're just gonna say they're eye lasers. Yeah, that's that, that's what I was picturing. I was picturing eye lasers. Yeah, I, I'll 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 just rename it eye eye lasers. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've already renamed some of her attacks to weird shit, so why not? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So yay, eye laser. Pew pew. All right. So eventually, in about the same amount of time that it took you to travel out to the carnival, uh, you find yourselves getting back to the port. Uh, the captain comes back uh, and rounds you basically all up at the on the uh, the deck, saying, "Ah, oh, good job. Uh, I know there was a little bit of trouble in there, and he." glances over at Kyver. Uh, but for the most part, it seems to have been a success. Everyone was paid, after all. Kyver is just doing that, like, innocent whistling as he, as he is just standing around. So. Uh, now that you're back at the port... Well, you can either stay on board or go out for a little R&R &R for the day. We hope to be leaving here sometime soon. We don't want to be spending all of our time at the port now, do we? No. I should probably stay on, on this ship for this one, just because uh, last time did not go so well. <laughs> I suppose it did not. He's just going to go and fiddle with his rum some more. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to go job hunting because I have tons of scrap right now. <laughs> yeah, can I go out? Um, I'm not going to actively search uh, for out people, but can I like eavesdrop on people's conversations see if I hear anything interesting? Ah, sure. I'm just going to go to a tavern and have real rum. <laughs> but you haven't tried any of mine yet. <laughs> it's not like it'll be I ready think... for any time soon. I yeah, think if we drink his rum, we'll go blind. You don't know. It's not ready yet. Depending on the strain of yeast and style of rum, it can take anywhere between 24 hours and 3 weeks. Wow, that quick on did you, rum. Did, did you put any yeast in there? That's the question. Well, I'm assuming he... Uh... I don't know what the fuck I put in there with a 7. <laughs> he threw in random ingredients. Like I said, he threw in peels of stuff, sugar, and I imagine you would put in yeast because that's, like, basic. We'll, we'll see in about three days. We'll we'll see what comes of it. Anyone who drinks it is gonna have to make a con save. Yeah, my my plans for this are just to cruise around town and look look for look look for jobs. You know, I know I would assume that since I've been here a million times, I would know where to 
Yeah. Where? I could find stuff or get hints. Sorry, sneezing. Ugh. Um. All right. So, anyone else wandering on the port? I mean, I know uh, devotion is in a bar, drinking rum. But what about and Kyver said he was supposed to be staying in the ship. Uh, what about you, uh, Layla? She's walking around trying to eavesdrop on people. Are you sticking with Charlie, or are you just wandering around by yourself? Uh, by herself this time. Alright. Little golden eyes. Uh, uh alright. So let's see, we'll start with Charlie first. Uh Charlie, you're on your on the lookout for jobs. Yep. Any kind of roles you want? Uh give me a perception roll. One's I'm gonna there. ask I'm gonna have Walter help, because he always helps, at least for perception. He can see. Not well not very well though. There actually has a better perception than I do. All right, back. Sorry about that. No, uh, Yeah, so Charlie is uh, distracted by the fact that Walter is currently flying around her head with little laser beams shooting out of his eyes up into the sky at every <laughs> every opportune moment as if he sees something that you don't. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Uh, so, oh, I put that in totally wrong channel. Yeah. So, Layla, uh, you're basically hearing people talk about a land full of uh, full of rainforests, and something something about a discussion about a potentially hidden treasure trove in it. Like you're hearing two people talking, like saying, "Yeah, there's got to be a." a, a some sort of cool temple. I mean, there are people talking about old ruins and throughout that jungle to begin with. There's got to be something. And if not, there's some wrecks along the coast of it. They should have some treasure to find. And the other one's just kind of shaking his head again. No, that's a got to be too dangerous. I mean, the jungle alone. Jungles are dangerous. Do they sound like they're trying to be secretive about it, or they're just having a conversation? They're they're having a, a small, a, a kind of soft conversation, as if they're trying to be secretive about it. But you know, you're hearing this. Another one says something about yeah, but I hear there's like the other one says. Besides, I've heard rumors about that place, about Va Valachan, uh, that there are were panthers. Eh, the other one's. It's kind of scoffing. Huh. What's wrong with were panthers? It's not like they're werewolves or like right bastards. He turns into a were panther and eats the other guy <laughs> for insulting him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what was the place they said? Val Achan. Okay. Yeah, she'll listen till the end of their conversation, um, and she'll deliver that news to the captain. She'll 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 head back to the ship. You bring me tales of treasure yes. and possible salvage. Interesting. It it sounds a little bit interesting. Old ruins, shipwrecks, of course. No, they also no clowns. Wear panthers. No clowns. Um, <laughs> so, I guess we will need a talisman to get there. If you can bring me one, perhaps that is where we will go next. Uh, Captain, is this another situation where, like, I have to give up things uh, that aren't money? 
kind of raises an uh, well, he doesn't have eyebrows because he's you know a shark, but he he raises a ri- a ridge a, a skin above his eye that makes it look like <laughs> like he's raising an eyebrow. Uh, I don't know what you mean. Uh, well, it, just back at the carnival, uh, there were some there were satyrs, right? Yeah. Uh, there were some satyrs that uh, wanted to trade a good memory of mine, or, you know, give me permanent nightmares uh, in exchange for a talisman. Uh, that sounds like Fey. Yes, well, one does not deal lightly with the Fey. And they are very trick, trick, tricksy, and very like to do unusual barters. So, n- none of that here, though? I can find something here? Oh, I imagine one of the stores has something. Okay. Uh, Alright, I'll take a look then. Do you have an idea of where? Well, there are plenty of, uh, well, junk stores out there. I could probably find a talisman in one of them. Okay. Let's look around. Um, I find Charlie. She knows all those places. She goes scouring for weird ingredients there. All right, I'll go ask Charlie then. Uh, thank you, Captain. All right. Uh, meanwhile, Charlie, you haven't heard anything useful, <laughs> sadly. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I need. I don't really need anything supply-wise. Uh, I guess head back to the ship with nothing. She's not a drinker. She's not a pervert. She is... (laughs) (laughs) She is completely the opposite of my last character. She's boring. Not really. She likes to tinker. I like that stuff. Yeah, I mean, she that that's where she, she would go back. She's a nerd. She's just going to mess with her shit. All right, you probably would see Sarah, not Sarah, uh, Layla coming out from there. Uh, who's actually looking for you at the moment. Oh, uh, Charlie, can I uh, talk to you for a sec? Sure. Um... The sort of frowns up at Walter, who's shooting, still shooting random things with lasers. Like, <laughs> he needs an adjustment. It, it does look like he needs an adjustment, but would you be able to help me with something first? Sure. So I overheard a potential treasure job thing, um, but we need a talisman. Do you know where we might find one for, is it Valachin? Uh, Val- Valachin, yeah. Valachin. Um, I, I don't really know where to search, and he said I should come to you. I'm assuming I would know, since, like, I do... G- mm. Give me a history check. Oh, God, why? Yeah, you, you know uh, a lizard man who uh, runs one of the uh, the junk stores in town, who supposedly comes from Valachin? She nods. She's like, yeah, I think this dude that that works this one junk shop that I've uh, maybe not maybe taken things from before uh, is from Valachin. Uh, would you mind coming with me and uh, maybe trying to get one of those talismans? Sure, I don't think you've caught me yet, so it's it's okay to go there. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, at this point, but just just. Not talk about it. Let's go. Let's just do it. <laughs> yeah, she'd she'd she'd, she'd nod and, and and I think she'd grab Walter and stuff her stuff him in her bag of holding temporarily since he's <laughs> he's he's glitching a little and uh, <laughs> take her to the take her to the junk shop. All right. So uh, Charlie leads you around for for a bit until finally you see a store that happens to have weird plant life growing out from the sides of it. Uh, I mean, most of the plant life around here, because it's, you know, perpetually twilight, is all, like, you know, mushroom-based, but there's some actual vines and flowers falling out from the sides of it, and there's a sign proclaiming it to be the sweet-scented dreams. Uh, well, one might think for a moment that this is supposed to be, like, an apothecary store or, you know, a garden store, 
Uh, you notice looking in, you, you see like various pots. Uh, you see shards of uh, like metal weaponry and all sorts of that through, through, the, through the windows, indicating that, yes, indeed, it is a junk shop. But a very unusual one. Probably, like, we're, we're here. Uh, the, the shop owner name is Rexorus. Uh, and she sort of, sort of gestures, uh, like, like, sort of like that after after you kind of gesture. Okay. Yep, well, we'll head in and hold the door for her. You see a, a, a green and somewhat scarred up lizard folk kind of poke their head up from um, behind a counter. A bit of dust and a few pieces of what looks like equipment. Uh, like, you know, little bits of junk, like tin, almost looking like uh, like maybe it was part of an art piece that degraded it over time. Uh, kind of falling off of his back, and he like stands up and is like blinking at you. Uh, oh, uh, Charlie, hey! Who's your friend? Oh, this is one of our... We just fished her out of the water not too long ago. Uh, this is ah. Layla. Astray. Hi. Welcome. What can I do for you? Um, I was actually wondering if maybe you happen to carry talismans? Oh, uh, a few, uh, I suppose. Uh, what do you have in mind? Well, uh, the captain's looking for one that would allow us to travel to Valachin. Oh. His, his, he kind of frowns a little bit. Oh. Uh, y yes, uh, I do have some of those. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I managed to escape from there. Sort of. Escape? Uh, well, uh, in the... Uh, I used... You know, everyone who lives in the mist, since you're new to the mists thing, anyone who, who lives in the mist, it's almost un unheard of that they get out of their domains. They just live there. Uh, unlike places in the material plane that I hear about where travel is easy to come by. Or you can just leave if you wanted to. No, uh, so anyone who manages to leave their domain, we, it's called escaping. I see. That's what the talismans are for, though. They, they supposedly let you get in and out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he goes over to a, a, a flower that's... A, a creeper vine with flowers on it that's growing up out of a pot somewhere behind him. And plucks out a, a, a blossom. Uh, this'll be what you want. It's a poisonous flower blossom. So you really don't want to touch it. Definitely don't eat it. And he stares right at Charlie when he says that. Charlie just looks offended. <laughs> I know you. You you tend to lick, lick things when you're trying to figure out what they are. We did that one time. Well, maybe not that one time. The one time you saw. Right. So don't eat it, but also don't touch it. Be careful. It's in the stem. Uh, I do take gold, or if you want to trade. Uh, how much gold? Not much. It, it is quite dangerous there, and if you're not ready to survive, well, something else is going to end up with your gold. Charlie's going to look at the flower and ask, uh, do we have to worry about, like, a time limit? Like, if it wilts or anything? Oh, uh, no. Uh, he, he takes a, a, a bit of, um, of the tin that he was playing with earlier, but, you know, fell off of him, and he starts twining it around the, uh, the bottom of the stem. Uh, this should keep it safe. It, 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 it'll, you know, it'll, it'll turn into... Well, it'll dry out, and you don't want it to exactly to rot, but it should still be good even when that happens. Okay, good to know, good to know. Um, how much do I owe you? Uh, uh, let's call it five gold. She'll pull out six gold. Um, can you tell me a bit about, um, uh, that specific, uh, domain? Uh, well... 
it's very hostile, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I mean, my people, we... We're, we're usually used to that sort of thing, of course. Uh, surviving and all that. But, um... There's this thing called the Trial of the Hearts. A battle royale, a battle royale that happens um, during certain full moons. Uh, led by the land's greatest hunter, Chakana. Uh, she, uh, she's very dangerous, and she loves to, to hunt the most dangerous of prey. So either, either don't be dangerous around her and try to avoid getting looked at by her, or find a way of overcoming said contest if you're trying to compete. Is that something we only have to worry about if we're competing? Well, if you cross her path, that could be a problem. Chikana, what does she look like? Just, uh, you know. <laughs> One second. <laughs> oh, sure, sorry. No, I, like, reading all the information, it's like, then you have to, like, remember back, okay, which one was the description of what character? Uh, oh, is this is this like the her, her scene uh, realm? Yeah. In Skyrim, <laughs> the Wild Hunt. Well, maybe. Uh, I, I, that could be way, one way of playing it, but I'm like I. I uh, hold on, I'm trying to see if there's an actual description of her. Uh, because it's just basically describing the character, uh, mm -hmm. in, in terms of personality and their deeds. It does not explain what they are exactly. Oh boy. But I have a theory. Uh, ah, here we go. They're talking about statistics. Okay. Uh, well, it's hard to tell what she is exactly, other than the greatest hunter. Uh, she is a humanoid. She's uh, not not scaly like me. She's more like uh, one of one of you lot, uh, though not hor uh, not with the horns. Okay, humanoid, not scaly, no horns. Um, I that doesn't. You haven't seen her though, right? Because I, I mean, oh, it's the no, most no, respectful no, no. way possible. I, that that doesn't really narrow it down. No, no, we're not part of her tribe. I see. We're all gonna die. <laughs> we might, yeah. <laughs> well, technically that set of it is true for any domain of dread you happen to wander into. Mm. Hell, hang out here in the pirate port for long enough and that might happen. Damn. <laughs> oh no, see, I have, I have the, uh, I have the, uh, the feature that, uh, I, I'm, a, I'm considered a badass. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Uh, oh gosh, I have too many things. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm somehow yeah. a badass. <laughs> I think they're more afraid of me because I'm crazy because I blow shit up. <laughs> and either they're afraid of the captain. <laughs> Okay. Avoid her if we can. Um, she's humanoid. Uh, very dangerous hunter. Don't appear dangerous around her. I, I think uh, I get the oh, gist. Oh, Ed, she of course uh, I, I think she's she is aware of outsiders. Oh, Had great. To okay. Onto the island. So, so if we go in there, I'll dress as giant babies. Maybe she'll leave us alone. <laughs> Doesn't mean she's gonna appear before you or anything. She might be busy elsewhere. But Charlie's gonna but look at Rexorus. <laughs> Do you would... sell any really big pacifiers? <laughs> no, I I don't think I know what that is. No. Oh. If you do, if you do go there, uh, there are a bunch of lakes uh, that surround a, a plateau. Uh, my um. My kin lived there, in one of the, the villages. Uh, 
So if we just mention that uh, that you know we know you, that they might not murder us right away. Yeah, that that's that's true. They might not. Or is that a warning not to go near there? <laughs> uh, take of it as you will. If you don't know know how to speak draconic, uh, maybe avoid. Mm. Mm, nope. <laughs> of course, if you do want to participate in her games, uh, you I imagine that there's some good prizes. I mean, I do like games. Uh, but from what I understand, uh, I I never participated in them, and they're, uh, it's, it's not part of my tribe's custom, but I've heard rumors, and they do occasionally, it, you know, they have to go to the, one of the shrines uh, in the lake, so we, we've seen them before, uh, but uh, apparently alliances are not allowed, which means if you do go, uh, either just one of you participates, or uh, you're going to be up for potentially killing each other. Though I've heard that more than one person can win. Valley rubs her chin. She's like, I bet you that Kyvir guy would do it. He doesn't see it. <laughs> he might. Let's keep it under wraps. I guess while we're here, I'm going to take a chance to rummage around and see if there's anything of interest. Because why not? I'm assuming no. Nope. Yeah, you look around and it's like, oh god, everything in here is covered in dust and so boring. If it wasn't for the fact that we're here for this, uh, for this totem, there's talisman or whatever, we wouldn't be in here at all. Right. So is Layla wrangling the uh, the weird flower uh, that right I don't now. accidentally lick it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, it's a valid technique. I mean, it's valid till it kills you. <laughs> she, she's kind of, she's kind of like, well, I mean, I'm gonna die someday, right? You want to speed up the process? I feel like it's just bad. Well, I, I mean, dying from being poisoned by a flower or torn apart by something in the mist. She kind of like does that like weighing thing with her hands. Okay, well, can we try not to do either? I mean, oh yeah, we could try. Oh my god. <laughs> right, um, I'll try not to take up uh, any more of your time. Thank you so much. Uh, we should bring this Good back luck. to the captain. <laughs> Thank you. Charlie nods and waves. To the guy. He waves back. <laughs> hmm. Right, I'll head back to the ship. Uh, so, uh, in the tavern, uh, Devotion, give me a perception check unless you're not listening to anything. Be listening. Alright. So you're mostly sitting there and enjoying your drink. Uh, and let's see, what would somebody say nearby to you? Oh, one second. Hmm. All right, did I say yes? And you hear some people talking about uh, uh, some sort of wild magic desert. 
I like just how strange that is. It's like searches of wild magic across a desert, and it's like yeah, yeah, the, the, there's this land that supposedly had a lot of uh, magical disasters, and now there's like surges of wild magic all across that desert. Uh, huh, well, that's weird. There's probably some artifacts then under the under the sand. Eh, but not so easy to get to and with a boat. Uh, there's some rivers. I suppose if somebody had a talisman to get there, they could probably use the rivers to get in. Uh, but then where would anybody even start digging? Uh, that's pretty much what you hear as you're as you're drinking. <sighs> All right. How close to me are they? They're like a, two stools down. I'll wander over to them and I say, "Excuse me, what, I have, I have, I happen to overhear your conversation. What was this place you were talking about?" Oh, uh, I, I think it's called Haslin. You ever heard of it? Haslin. Yeah, Haslin. Uh, you can roll history check to see if you've ever heard of it. No care to name. All right. Three. It doesn't sound familiar to you. Maybe the captain's heard about it, so I'll, I'll finish up my drink. And I say, what? What were you drink? Who drinking? Uh, having a local ale. Do I know how much local ales cost. Uh, yeah, they they cost like uh, the five copper. All right, so I'll put uh, ten copper down. And I said, buy a drink on me then. Hey, thanks. They uh, raise their curtain drinks to to you. I'll head back to the ship. I'll look for the captain. Captain. Mm. Hello, Devotion. The, what news have you brought to me? Well, possible artifacts. Have you heard of the place called Haslin? Mm. No, I have not. <sighs> We'd need, a we'd need a talisman for it, but supposedly there's artifacts there, but it's a wild magic zone. I've never heard of such before. Oh. I'm not too familiar with the, with magic, so I'll have to take your word for it. I wonder what, I don't know if anyone would know, though. I'd probably head to my cabiners. I'm kind of mumbling to myself, wondering where this place would be. I imagine at this point, Charlie and uh, Layla have returned with, the, with the, the talisman that they need. Yep, I'll make my way up to the captain. Ah, you're back. Yes, and I come bearing a talisman. Uh, he said be careful, though, with the stem, and she'll pull it out. Mm. Oh, those are, mo are most unusual here. And he carefully takes it. Um, he also mentioned uh, something about a battle royale and um, something about a, a great hunter um, oh. called Chicana uh, said... Uh, be careful. She knows when people kind of enter uh, the domain, and uh, well, you know uh, most uh, dark lords do. Dark lord, right? Okay. He said, "Don't appear dangerous around her uh, because she hunts the most dangerous of prey." So uh, it, it it just you know. 
I'm just bringing back what I heard. And uh, does uh, Devotion have anything to add upon hearing this? After making my way to the cabin, I would see Kyberius. He's still looking on his room. Uh, probably would have worked on it for a while before just kind of giving up for a bit and leaving it to see how it turns out. He'd probably be just wandering around on the deck or just flying in lazy circles. Hi, burrito. Where are you going? Hey, screw you. <laughs> that was a very interesting conversation over here. <laughs> Well, she just kind of like... Hi, burrito. How are you? Okay, screw you. <laughs> she walked in, squidged under the desk, and then walked out. Cat? <laughs> yeah. No, it's a dog. Ah. The quirky dog. Oh, she quirky. might as well be. She might as well be a cat. <clears throat> Fair enough. I love corgis. And I have a, I have a cat who's partly, do who's partly dog-like. <laughs> So how did your uh, shopping trips go? Oh, I didn't go shopping. I had a nice, real rum. Ah. Mine is uh, getting there. It uh, needs a bit more time to ferment. Okay. I don't suppose you've heard of a place called Haslin? Uh, say, the, say the name again? Haslin. Uh, maybe? Would that be uh, history? Yes. You guys aren't near anywhere near us, right? Yeah. You're down in the hole. <laughs> no. I, I, no. <laughs> is, that a, is that a type of rum? No, it's, it's a desert with supposedly wild magic surges with artifacts. Huh. That sounds like fun. Problem is, hey. problem is, hey. I don't know where it is. I have never heard of such a place. Huh. Uh, maybe the uh, maybe the captain has. No. Ah. Hmm. Maybe Charlie has. I don't know. Perhaps. Maybe Layla. She has come from a supposedly a, a interesting place, if I remember correctly. Oh, from what you said, she came from Strahd's domain. That's not a very good place to come from. I don't think I've heard of uh, Strahd domain as well. I've heard of it, of course, but I'm glad, I'm glad I've never been there. Is it, a, is it a bad place to go? It has a very bad reputation. Ah. You're all Fair bad enough. Place. But I guess to be fair, most of, the, most of ancient dreads have a very bad reputation. Well, I came from a, uh, a pretty small uh, part of my, my world, so I uh, haven't really been to many other... Uh, Realms. I come from a world called Toril. Have you ever heard of it? Eh. Uh, no. <laughs> All right. Just... What are with these rolls? <laughs> uh... Roll twenty is punishing me for the monkey. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, Roll20 doesn't like monkey murder either. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be that way. <laughs> I was gonna find a criminal. Oh well. Have the, uh, have the other two come back yet? I think I heard them on the deck as I was coming down below. What the f- how did it get below? I thought that was a- huh. 
Oh, well, actually, I... I... I may have tasted my rum a little too soon. Okay. <laughs> Let us go if talk to the others. If you have, a constitution saving throw for me. Uh, more for flavor, but yeah, fuck it. All right. Yes, if you die instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're fine. For the most part. For the most part. Uh, fucking roll 20, man. <laughs> Kevy was going to uh, head up on deck to greet the others. Yeah, I will too. So, uh, how did your shopping trip go, you two? Well, uh, it looks like we might be heading to a new place, uh, Valachin, if you've heard of it. It's a jungle, kind of rainforest thing, uh, hidden ruins, uh, old shipwrecks. I have not. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff we shouldn't lick. <laughs> Don't lick Why should things. you not lick it? Why not? Apparently, like, Don't... poison ah. or something. Well, that is true. Right. Well, it also seems uh, just you know, it's a rainforest with apparently rare panthers. Yeah, and we're not supposed to look bad ass, or we're gonna get hunted. Yeah, rare so, panthers. Man, I don't know. Okay. And apparently, the Dark Lord um, just don't appear dangerous. Okay, just like appear meek. If we run into Chicana, I, here's the thing. The only thing I know about her is that she's humanoid. So <laughs> that, helps, like a, that helps a lot. Like I said, that we is, should all we should all just as giant babies. Nobody'll hurt a baby. <laughs> Nobody thinks babies are dangerous. Oh, you're wrong. Javier's gonna like root through his bag and kinda like half pull out the afro. Eh? <laughs> Shall I? <laughs> I don't know if that's she going might, to help. She might think you're sh your shaft or something. <laughs> so, Charlie, Haslin, or I mean, Charlie and Layla, have you ever heard of the place called Haslin? Well, let's see, have I heard of yes, Haslin? Nope. Nope, you haven't either. <laughs> Is that that ice cream shop that just opened up that I might have licked a lot of things at? Layla! <laughs> Even with the high history check there, you still haven't heard of it. Uh, Sorry. Oh well. I wanted to see what wild magic looked like. I've heard of it, of course, being a sorcerer, but... What's going on in Haslin? It's, it's a desert. It's supposed to have possible artifacts, but there's wild magic surges everywhere. Huh. And, uh, where did you hear about this place? Well, I was in the tavern, drinking. Did you not ask uh, who you heard it from? I did not. Oops. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't think devotion's the smartest person in the world. <laughs> I mean, for what it's worth, there has to be someone here who does know, yeah. Possibly. Hmm. Is there any kind of, like, place on, on around here that we could go and ask questions about domains, or would we just have to know a contact that Just basically random be... chatter with random people. <laughs> I was just going to start asking random crew members if they've mm -hmm. ever heard of it. So they're wandering around talking about uh, Haslin. Uh, what are Charlie and what's Charlie and Layla doing? I'm going to go f work on Walter since he's Fritzen. That's my excuse. Poor Walter. I'm going to chill in the rooms, um, avoiding uh, work duty. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming we're we're gonna be on our way to the. Jungle place. 
well, that's basically what I'm waiting wait, waiting for. Since so they're talking about Hazlin, and you guys are talking about the jungle, which wait, which well, we we know more about the jungle, so I'm assuming yeah, we're going we there. Yeah, we don't know where Hazlin is. I feel like jungle. Well, we'll just head to the jungle. That, that'll be. Yeah. We can ask about Hazlin later. Ask people <laughs> along the way. <laughs> that's Maybe the Winter Panthers know. It will all work out. That's just, just looking through her stuff. Thing, huh? What? Just asking people? Yeah. It's like a almond with the meaning of life. It's just Walk up to asking a random people. Walk up to a wear panther. Do you know anything about Haslin? <laughs> As I'm just getting mauled. about to eat you. Yeah. <laughs> Not it. He just pulls out a stack of notes. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, okay. So with that, you guys discussing that the plans are to travel to the jungle, the captain starts the ship in that direction after pulling away from port after verifying that everyone is back on board. And none of the rest of the crew appear to understand where Haslin is either. Uh, time for a break, guys? Sure. 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 Right. Yeah. Did you just walk in here and sneeze? <laughs>
Tschüss. Welcome back. I'm back. I mean, I really didn't just get back. I've been sitting here the whole time. Yeah, that. Just been waiting for people to speak. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear that. Sorry. No, your mic. So, you got issues with your mic. All the way up in my hair. For Wait. I think. There's only four of us. Devotion? I'm here. Ah. Alright. So you're gonna be sailing away from the port. Using the, uh, the captain is using the, the f provided flower as a navigational tool. And once more, you convert confronted with the seemingly endless water surrounded by mist. What are each of you doing during this journey? And Lyra, stay out of that. No. Uh, well, if I'm supposed to be on watch, I'll be on watch. Whatever. So we don't get any uh, banshees again or anything weird like that. <laughs> yeah, I do that the same. All right, please move your tokens to the upper part of the ship then, so I know who is on watch. 
I'm already up there with Charlie or Walter. And actually, Walter is going to be the main watcher because he's got slightly better perception than I do. But I'm helping him. Yeah. You are his assistants. <laughs> Pretty much. I'll be chilling up somewhere, probably on one of the masts or something. Does wait? Does this ship even have masts, or is it? Not exactly. No. It, it's a since it travels through the mists, it's configured a uh, little differently. Okay. It sort of looks kinda... like if you look up images of the spell jammer, that's what I imagine it looks like. Ye. Yeah. It might not have the same kind of fins, like. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just chilling on the side somewhere. Just kind of helping keep watch and look around. Alright. Those of you on watch, please roll me a uh, perception check. Ooh. Nice. Damn I'm blind. <laughs> Saw that rum you drank. Yeah. Devotion isn't seeing anything. Walter's still occasionally shooting a, uh, a little beacon of light from his eyes. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's like cats where they're seeing things that I can't see, or if he's broken. <laughs> <laughs> maybe call him A, maybe call him B. I've got tiny little Faye watching me because I stole that thingy. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. There's going to be like that cat in Cat's Eye. He's going to have to keep the little gremlin from stealing my breath while I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, uh, Kyver and Layla. As you're looking over the side of the ship, you see the sea nearby begin to churn, becoming a whirlpool that starts to glow softly. Uh, Captain, uh, yeah, look at the uh, glowing whirlpool. Do I have any idea of what this is? If they're calling attention well, to it. Well, the captain's not on deck at the moment since you're doing your the evening watch shift, so the first mates are here again. Yeah. Somebody uh, go get the captain. Either nature or the first mate kind of glares at you when you say that. It's like, ah, the captain's sleeping. I'm currently in charge. What is it? It's a glowing whirlpool. Hmm. And he points to it. You said nature or what? Nature or Just arcana. Kinda... Yeah, you kind of cut out. Like at the end of your statement. Sorry, I'm so. getting interrupted. <laughs> and no. <laughs> Carly knows exactly what this is. Yeah, you have a feeling, uh, Charlie, that this is the result of some sort of magic. Uh, a spell or an ability. Um. Yeah, we might want to move away from that as fast as we can. Are we going to be able to outrun it? Like, uh, she's going to go, I guess she's going to run down to the engine room and may maybe, or wherever controls the speed of the boat. Well, uh, as she's and... saying that, it's taking a step away to go running, uh, a, a fish-like head pops up from the center of that whirlpool and starts to ascend out of the water, staring at your oh. ship. Oh. Uh... So now you have the choice. Do you wish to, to run to flee away, or do you wish to attempt to fight this thing? I don't know what it is. I don't know. Or do, what or it is do the, I? Uh, we know well, it actually, with that Arcana check, uh, Charlie, you instantly recognize it as the head of a Myriad. Uh, I don't Marid. know what that is. Sorry, is it bad? Marid. It's a uh, 
It's a genie from the ocean. Sorry, from the water uh, plane. Are, are they friendly or not? I don't know. Like, as, as a player, I have no not idea. Not particularly. They can be or 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 <clears throat> especially ones if they are scouting into other planes. There's a good chance that it's here to capture something to, to, to like capture it. Basically, to be a, it, it, probably it's a pirate as well, but one I that. I could just close my role play. <laughs> Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm going to continue on my course of gunning gunning the engines. Alright. She she would she would call all hands on deck too if there's like a probably like usually by the thing there's a bat a bell. Whoop. Whoop. Or yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start getting a, a weapon or two ready in case we're not able to outrun it and I need to like throw a couple deterrents at it. So yeah, you're you're hearing the uh, the first mate kind of yell, like hard this way, hard this way, like you know, hard to starboard, hard to starboard, and start turning the ship to speed in a different direction. Is it still looking at us? Uh, you're getting further away, and it seems to have dived back down into the whirlpool. Okay. Five years gonna yell out an infernal. Go back to whatever plane you came from, you fishy bastard. Yes, let's taunt the thingy. I'm trying to look at Kyber and say, that's not the way to get them to go away. It does already is okay. Alright. Tar Tarly spurring on the engines and the ship working together as a unit, you managed to quickly outrun this thing back into the mists, leaving it somewhere far behind, possibly even back to its own plane. Yay, fuck off, fishy boy. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. Is there anything you guys wish to do after escaping this? Uh, I mean, just keep my stay eyes on... extra peeled for any more. Yeah, <laughs> stay on guard in case uh, something <laughs> comes back. Get a little bit of tartar sauce prepared. I'll just go back to not watching because I'm blind. <laughs> Did we see any more of them? Thankfully, no. Seems to have been a singular encounter. Or potential encounter. You guys didn't... You basically saw it looking at you and you guys ran. <laughs> like, nope. Yeah, you noped out of there. All right. Uh, does uh, anybody know how uh, far away this place is? I certainly don't. Nope. Maybe you're just going to kind of like lean against the, the rail and just kind of be quietly singing 99 bottles of beer on the wall to himself <laughs> while gazing out over the water. Alrighty then. So no one else has anything else they wish to do. All right. Just... 
begins to brighten a bit, and you find yourself sailing into daylight. More daylight than you've seen in a while, Layla. Mm -hmm. That's uh, even that last port was uh, fairly dim and dismal. Uh, the you know the the one where you went to the carnival. But this is almost full daylight from what would normally be a you know a clear day except for the the mist. You can hear the sound off a bit in the Love the sound of birds. It's been so long. I don't think I've seen daylight like that in some time, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, for any of us, Charlie would probably just be like, it's too bright. <laughs> just fine. Especially with the sound of the birds. Uh, what is a bird? Okay, I point to a bird that's probably nearby and say, that's a bird. Ah, it is like a, uh, a small aracacra. You see what basically looks like a a bit like a seagull, except with a bit more color into the water and you pull up a fish. The, the gulls got the wrong color of feathers. one of the birds getting like over. Animal handling check, please. Little birdie, birdie, birdie. Alright. The bird who, who just wolfed down a uh comes over to inspect you. Kind of like hold out my arm for it to land on. And then hold up like a little piece of bread or something to... Your arm and opens up bread. Just kind of gently placed and snap. It is a cute little thing. I'll try to like rich under the chin. Kind of ruffle. Oh, he likes me. He's gonna be just sitting there playing with his bird. 